Mama and Her Cubs. My name is MJ. My name's Adam. And our channel is all about fitness, travel, and mum life. Hey, and dad life. <laughs> and dad life. <laughs> and if you didn't already know, we have moved to the Philippines. Barakai to be precise. And if you want to keep up with our little adventures, hit that subscribe button right here. <laughs> and don't forget to share, like, and comment down below. Peace! See ya. Hello friends and welcome back to Mama and Her Cubs. I just want to tell you guys a little story. So, it is the new year. <laughs> you're so silly. You're so silly. Let me continue with my story. So, the new year, oh my goodness, don't fall. New Year, you know, all good, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, we had a brownout. And this brownout lasted for like more than 24 yeah. hours. And it was horrible. I couldn't sleep because it was so bloody hot at night. You know, usually we have the air con on. Um, we weren't prepared at all for this because I guess we're just saving money so that we can eventually buy a generator. The generator will be good when we have a brand up because then the generator can, you know, um, charge our phones, it can do the, the fridge so our food doesn't go bad. Basically, like, you know, it was just like hot the whole time. All our food went bad. Oh my god, I was so upset about the food. I hate wasting food. That's like like the worst you know because yeah. it's basically just throwing money away and like no one can even eat it uh so my story goes like this right we had our brown out and everyone's just like oh my god what are we gonna do blah 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 night time comes like we just slept so early because like there was nothing to do nothing to watch our phones are all dead oh my god couldn't even charge our phones didn't have like spare you know portable charger anything like that boys can't watch their cartoons on their ipads because their ipads are dead oh my God. Uh, if you're not gonna sit here with me and let me tell my story you can go see you later so it's nighttime, right? We lay in bed in the bedroom and it's just like death. Everyone's cranky. Bjorn's cranky because he's sweating. I'm cranky because I'm sweating. I was like, oh my God, there's no airflow in this room at all. So I open the doors, I open the balcony doors, open the windows, I open, you know, the balcony door on in the lounge room as well. I left my door open, but it was still like unbearable. So we decided to like sleep on the couch uh, in the lounge room upstairs. And you know, it was a bit, a bit better. Still not good. The airflow was still, you know, so-so, but much better than the bedroom. So finally get to sleep, but you know, wake up because it's hot and then like I had a little bit of charge on my phone because I was like, you know, saving it, but I wasn't like scrolling or messaging anyone or anything like that. I was just like, have it for emergency to let Adam know like how we're doing, blah, blah, blah. So I, I'm laying there in bed at like 3 a.m. I hear someone like trying to lock the door. So we have like a look, you know, it's like inside outside type of thing. You know, I haven't even done a house tour later on, later on, another time. And I'm like, what the fuck? And it's just Vincent. Vincent is trying to lock the door, but that lock is a bit like iffy. It doesn't really work that well. So we're getting it fixed. We're getting it fixed. Um, anyways, he's like trying for so long and all I can hear is like, click, click like open close like open close anyways i was like vincent it doesn't close and then paula comes up 
as well. Paula is our yaya. Vincent is our housekeeper's son. Um, and Paula was like, we're trying to lock the door because like from the road, you can see that the door is open. And I was like, okay. And she's like, yeah, because there was some men that were outside the house, like looking at, you know, looking. And they came back a few times. She said that they came back like, um, first time was like around 9, 10, and then they come back about 11, and then they came back around 1 a.m. as well. So I was like, well, that's a bit, you know, how you going? Um, I wasn't too worried though. Like, I was like, if anyone comes up in this house, I'm gonna like karate chop them in the balls. Like, that's my thing, you know? If you're, if you're ever gonna have to fight anyone, like, always aim for the balls, the dick and balls, all right? Like, that'll bring them down. Um, and really, there's nothing here to steal. We have nothing of value here. Only, like, my phone and, and the iPads, really. Um, yeah, so that happened. And I was like, okay. And it was so hard to go back to sleep, but I finally did. Uh, and then I woke up um, quite early because, you know, Bjorn wakes up early. And I go downstairs in the kitchen to, like, you know, get breakfast ready. Paula was already awake because she didn't sleep the whole night and then I go in the lounge room downstairs and here's Vincent and Angel. Angel is Vincent's sister. They're sleeping in the lounge room with like weapons like you know protecting the house just in case anyone like breaks in or whatever. Like protecting us they're such good people and I'm so thankful that you know they're here and I'm not alone in the house poor things though like really no one would have come in there's the only I think the only reason you know they're a bit scared as well is because there was no power so you know no lights in the house I mean we have solar lights outside so that lights up some of the yard and things like that and there's like a building here but on the other side it's like free land like it's just got some trees like some banana trees there so they were worried like oh maybe someone will climb over the fence on that side they're also worried because we don't have security cameras but after that little ordeal and speaking to adam i ordered a security camera. I only ordered one for now because I want to see if this one works well. It's solar and it connects to the Wi-Fi and it connects to my phone. Um, eventually when we have, you know, a generator, like it'll keep working. Like, if we have a brownout, then it's not going to work. But, you know, we're going to get a generator in the next coming week. So don't even try. Don't even try. Like, you know, trying to break into this household because security camera, I'm gonna get more, you know, for safety. And also where, you know, I'm gonna have a sign that says, smile, you're on camera, 24 hour um, video surveillance. And also, you know, we're gonna have dogs too, even though they're gonna be like the happiest, friendliest puppies, but I'm gonna have a sign that says, beware of dogs with like a scary picture of the dog and then uh, enter at own risk yeah security you know we're like all securityed up <laughs> so let's open this thing i haven't even opened it i received it yesterday but i've been so busy i've been in and out in and out of the house running all these errands i'm just so tired but i have a little bit of time holy moly it's huge I got a little bit of time right now to film this. Oh my God, it's massive. Wow, it's like so professional. I didn't think that it was this huge. 
Wow. So that connects to the Wi-Fi and this will be like, wow, wow. That's so cool. And here's the solar part. And then I'm gonna have to figure out how to do it. All right, like I have no idea. I'll do that later on. I'll do it off camera as well because it'll take me forever. Oh my god, I don't even know where to put it. I don't want to break it. What is this? What is this? Oh, okay, that's for the that's for the solar. Yeah, so it's for the solar thing I put up here. Like, like so. See, like that. And you know what? I also ordered um, a few dummy, dummy security cameras, just like fake ones. I'm just gonna put them up everywhere. It's like fucking like this house is gonna have like 20. <sighs> um, yeah, honestly, I'm not that worried. But for peace of mind for Adam because he's away as well you know so he knows that we're safe we got all these cameras and you know security very safe now yeah I feel good and do you guys have security cameras like yeah because this house is like open you know open indoor outdoor kind of thing yeah it's a bit you can see inside and all that kind of stuff. So it's better to be safe than sorry anyways. So it's good. It's good. I'm glad we got these cameras, but you know, it's just like a chunk out of the savings. <laughs> anyways, I'm gonna go do this thing. Love you all. Thanks for listening in to my little story. <laughs> Bye. perfectly I just um I plan to put it up there but I just haven't got a screw gun so you know here we'll do for now just um fixing the camera up on here <laughs> The fucking screws are shit. Sweating my whole off. Um, yeah, you know, like when you drill in and then the cross bit starts to like wear. Well, that's what happened. At least I got like two and a bit on. One of them I couldn't get on because um, the plasticky bit was a bit too far to the other side, so it wasn't really catching onto it. Anyways, it's it feels. 
it feels stable enough. Let's just hope it doesn't fall off. Oh, and it reaches the Wi-Fi. Like, anyways, that's my adventure for today. We'll see how this one goes, and then if it goes well, then I will order another one. Anyways, peace out. I'm dead. I'm supposed to be chilling out this weekend, but nope. Here I am on top of the bloody house. And that is what it is looking like. Pretty good. And I put my sign up. Oh god. Doors locked. Put the sign up. See? Just there. Visible. <laughs> so. Everybody know now. We got camera. <laughs>